So we finally made it to St. Bernard Parish. And if y'all think that Chalmette Reeboks ain't real, let me show you at the gas station what they got. White Boot Wednesday, free fountain drinks. You don't get no more Chalmette than that. All right, so we made it out to the pier. Cam's going to do a little fishing. I'm going to set these crab trap, these crab nets up. So these crab nets are handmade by a guy in West Wego, Louisiana. He hand makes them. They got trawl dip on them. They kind of expensive, but we're going to see how these guys work out. They the double hoop. So they put a shower curtain ring on here. These are all hand sewn. Look at that. You ain't got to tie no knot and nothing. We're ready to go. Let's get the other ones done. We got some old chicken legs from a barbecue we are supposed to have, I guess. I don't know. Look at that. Easy, easy as that. Ain't got to tie nothing up. Sometimes, look, a little coon ass engineering works. You know what I'm saying? But man, it's a beautiful morning to be out with your family. We're in the great parish of St. Bernard. We're going to see if there's any crabs, but there might be crabs. Who knows? There might not be crabs. Last time we came, we caught over 200 crabs. So these crab nets, like I said, handmade, cost you a little bit. We're gonna wipe, look, we're gonna wipe off a little bit. Now we're gonna go, we're gonna go put them in the water and see what's up. What's up? Okay. Yeah. Pancake. Well, let's see. <laughs> Stop with all that. Look at these shrimp. So there's your difference between a brown, that's the biggest brown shrimp I think i ever seen, and that's a white shrimp. There's your difference right there. But guess what? The fish don't care which one it is. I 
Where? Oh. Yeah? Yeah, I mean, it ain't a bunch. Let's go get us another one. The current's running pretty good this morning. We're having a tough time with it. But uh, we're going to try to catch us a fish, maybe. You scared of them shrimp? We still got a little few live baits left. I don't know what happened to my bait. Wow. So how you you having fun early this morning? I'm tired. Would it you rather be in bed sleeping? Yeah. But but, but uh, I'm out here fishing instead. Yay. There goes Fred. So let me explain to you what we out here doing. I got me a nice fresh live shrimp that we just caught with the cast net. And uh, we're gonna hook him through the back of the tail. Come saw. Then we're gonna throw him out there. See who's hungry. Let's do that. Whew. So we caught us some bait we got us some live shrimp we got some crab legs in the water crab legs we got some chicken legs in the water we're about to check them mama's over on the other pier catching them one after another so i know the crabs are here the question is are the fish here i don't know Last time we come out here, they were biting one after another. Bam, bam, bam. But there wasn't nothing good. It was, but it was fish. You know, as long as something's pulling on the line, who really cares? If I really, really, really wanted to eat fish, they sell it at Rouse's. But that ain't what it's about. It's about coming here and bringing your kids out and teaching them. Woo! Sorry for the interruption, but something wanted that shrimp. Hope it ain't a stingray. Remember when I said, I hope it ain't a stingray? Well, guess what I got? I'm gonna turn the camera off right now because I'm by myself and I'm gonna have to deal with this. So, uh, see y'all when we get back to fishing. So what we got, we definitely got a male. That's his claspers, that's what they do, that's what they use to breed with. And this right here, that's the business end right there. You definitely don't want that to get stuck in your leg, your foot, your toe. Yeah, any part of your anatomy. Let's see if I can get him back in the water. He gone. So we've been out here like an hour and a half, and so I'm, I'm four deep on the on the stingrays, which is not ideal fishing at all. Got my brother on the camera now. Got the family out there crabbing. That's what it's really about. Really about coming out here and enjoy. Hold up, hold up. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I guess stingray number five's coming. Oh, no, look. We got it. Looks like a little black drum. Yep. Come on. I don't think he'll make the... Yeah, in, Lu in Louisiana... In Louisiana, this has to be 16 inches. I don't think... I don't, I don't think we quite make it. We'd have to smush him out a little bit if we wanted to keep him. Probably roll him with the truck a couple of times. Yeah, then that makes 16 inches. But yeah. look, right now we're just going. Bye-bye. Catch and release.
I like the catch and release in the hot oily grease, but we, you know, got to be a little bigger. Let's get it back out there and see if we can't get another one. There they are. Y'all want to know where your food comes from? Right there. So, well, at least we know the stingrays are still biting. Look, she got a big one. Yep. I'm glad. Look. That's a big one. She got a big one. Look at that. Look. Oh, Jesus. Oh. What we got? Pull it up, we'll see. It's got some shoulders on it, whatever it is. Well, on the end, got a drum. And yeah, oh. got another one. Stingray City. This is just about make you want to quit fishing. Because <laughs> they are not fun to take off the hook. Not at all. Yeah, I got yeah. a big one. The whole crew must have come through. I'm about to flip him up. We're going to turn the camera off because it, it ain't pretty when I have to nope. take the hook out of his mouth. Yeah, let me. All right, we're going. So, this is Ellie with me fishing today. Hi, Elle. And look what she caught her first drum. Her first drum fish, huh? She's got stripes. <laughs> you like that? That was a good job, huh? You having fun out here? And that's what it's about. Y'all need to get out the house, stop playing video games, and bring them out here and show them what's up. Right? Yep. 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 And this is Pawpaw talking. Yep. Yep. We're going to show her how to do things down here on the bayou. As y'all can see, we had a pretty successful day in Delacro Island. And we're going to call them little ones out and get put them back in the water. And then... uh I guess we're going to go home and buffet down, have us a little crab ball, probably get some shrimp. Who knows what else we're going to throw in there. Y'all know we throw that mix up in there. So we'll see you back at the house in a few minutes. See y'all. So we just got back from crabbing and we decided that we're going to cook them. Um, my dad isn't here. He's sleeping and... We don't wake him up when he's sleeping, so. We went back home for a little bit and now we are on our way to my cousin's house where we're gonna boil them and I'll show you the process of that. So, I'll see you when we get there. Now that I woke up from my nap and we're gonna them crabs, we're gonna put them in some cold water with just a little salt in it so they don't die and kick their claws off. Then we turn up the heat and put in the seasoning. And just like that, bam, we got done. We got some hot dogs, some sausage, onions, some lemon, some mushrooms. Oh, we're about to eat good, y'all heard? Y'all come see what's happening in the kitchen. For just, I don't know, four or five dollars worth of chicken next, we're feeding the whole family fresh seafood. You can't get no better than that. Y'all need to bring them kids out there and show them how to live that lifestyle, you heard? Look, we're about to put this on the table, let it cool off for a second, and I'll go to eat. So, y'all like this video? Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell the next time we out there crabbing or fishing or doing whatever we're doing. Y'all be notified, y'all talk.